Why do you think it is that people choose to go on a volunteering holiday with Sargo? Um, because it's an incredible opportunity to have a new experience in life um, and to really get under the skin of a community that without working in it, you don't really get to know. It's a very good way of sort of taking the lid off a country for a traveller. How important is the work that volunteers do? A month you can get stuff done. You know, you can be a real help in that time. And of course, we have a lot of repeat visitors. People get the volunteering bug and they very much like our recipe of staying in a comfortable hotel, having somebody looking after you, having a project manager um, when you get to the project. So people don't feel that they've just been left high and dry to get on with it. They're very much sort of looked after. And what kind of difference does it make? It makes an enormous difference to the um, institutions where people are helping because, of course, they have to provide a project manager. But apart from that, they're getting fantastic input of skills and experience and wisdom from people who have had probably long working careers and have a great deal to offer. Um, and from what the volunteers say, um, they get an enormous amount out of it. I mean, a lot of people tell me that they feel they get more out of it than they put in. So it's basically channeling a desire to help with um, an opportunity to do so. And these projects nearly all um, are deeply embedded in the local community. So people can offer their skills direct to a local community rather than just, say, writing a cheque. Many people associate volunteering with gap years in teenagers, but mature people can offer a lot too. Very much so, yes. I mean, we are always um, thrilled and amazed by um, the generosity and willingness of our customers, either to go the extra mile or to volunteer. And of course, a lot of our customers are active volunteers here in, in the UK as well. You were involved in the Princess Royal's visit to Makuni village. How did that go? I was very, very proud to be uh, representing Saga because we've been supporting Butterfly Tree for some time now. And it was very kind of them to ask us to be there. And, um, but above all, it was recognition of the work that Butterfly Tree have done in this community, which is extraordinarily poor. Um, riddled with AIDS and malaria, um, lots of orphans, very low literacy rates and the work that Butterfly Tree has done there in health and education mainly is really something we're very proud to be associated with. I got there two days before and there was not a surface that hadn't been swept, scrubbed or painted or all three and probably not a child who hadn't been well scrubbed. Um, and it was a great privilege for them and I think they were very excited by it, you know, to see a real princess. And what were the highlights? Well, the highlights were two, really. One in that she showed particular interest in a classroom where um, uh, disabled children were educated. So these are some 16 children from one small village who would not ever see the inside of a school if it wasn't for this special facility. And um, the other thing was that she met a young man who is a star graduate of their orphan sponsorship program. And um, I think thanks to her interest in him, it's highly likely that he'll get his teacher training in Lusaka funded. Butterfly Tree, supported by us, has a classroom for um, uh, mentally uh, troubled and disabled children. And without that, those children would not ever see the inside of a school. And um, the Princess Royal was particularly interested in that. I mean, she's very experienced. She's visited a lot of projects. And she picked up on that because she'd never seen that before. So, and of course, there were local people from the Ministry of Education there. So it's very good that that was highlighted. We're coming up to Christmas and many people think about buying gifts and it all gets quite monetary orientated, but are there other kind of gifts that you can give? Well, yes. I mean, giving your time is free. It's a brilliant way of um, 
um, giving somebody a sort of gift that is almost inestimable in value, um, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Um, and I think a lot of uh, people are becoming a warmer and warmer towards volunteering, and being able to volunteer abroad makes something worthy into the most exciting and memorable um, event in one's life.